Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Merganator, and I wanted to do some Formula E racing in Pinnacle League, but nobody ever plays in Pinnacle League. That's why I can never play anything in the leagues. Oh, joyous occasion. So I'm making this a Formula E challenge where I take a stock Formula E car and I try to go against Bugattis and Corvettes and, and GT40s and Ferraris like that one there. And and occasionally a Nissan 350 for some reason. But anyways, I'm taking this stock car and I'm going against cars with insane speeds just to see how well I can do. And here I am around Indy and I pretty much started in the back. I think I started in 21st or 20th. And here I am in 13th place. This guy's gonna go for a drift. I'm gonna take his inside as well. Get this apex nice and good there, yeah. And the good thing about this car, oh, there's a free spot there. The good thing about this car is it's incredibly lightweight as well as decent acceleration. So handling, uh, lightweight, decent acceleration. It's actually a fun car to drive, it's just quiet. So this is like the world's quietest Forza video. And uh, yeah, I, I can really gain on a lot of people in the braking zones in this hopper. It's just on straightaways like this, people are gonna eat me alive. There's no way around it. Look at this guy. I got out of his way. I'm not so sure if he's gonna hit me or not. So I fall back into ninth. Still in ninth place. Later on in lap two. GFR M. Lunis Lily overtakes me, pops an Aston Martin, and then claims eighth. That curb really got us both. And I claim ninth place for a whopping three seconds as his horsepower kicks in. <laughs> and then the Camaro passes me. A couple turns later, Camaro runs into that guy. He goes flipping off into the grass. Jeebus. And I cut the corner because I'm not paying attention. Contact there. One of them goes in the pit. The other one slams into the wall. So I'm able to finish this race in ninth place. Not a, not a bad finish. Even if there was a lot of problems and crashes and whatnot. But it's to be expected. It's an S-Class hopper. Here we go around Nürburgring, the Grand Prix circuit. I start in 10th and I fall back quite a bit. But I'm able to just take this turn nicely. Hopefully, hoping to not get hit by anyone. GT40 right there, BMW Pro Car just in front of me. We have a Corvette that's going to go wide here, so I hit the brakes. Little yellow bugger there, I have no clue what that is. Trying to not get hit. Subaru, thanks Subaru, thanks a freaking lot. There's the BMW Pro Car up in 13th place. Those guys are side by side. Pro Car is going to pull ahead just a little bit. I have a decent amount of space the guy behind me, but his horsepower is going to make him catch up. I believe it's a Dodge Viper, yes. I'm able to do a slight cutback as the Subaru goes off into the dirt. I'm gonna take his outside. I should be able to outdo him, but his horsepower is, is too much for me. I'm gonna take the inside line here as the Subaru passes me. And here is a good example of how I can break. Everyone has to break at a decent you know, time or distance while I can go for another 100 feet or so. Dodge Viper reclaims his spot as we go on the straight. Subaru turns into me, not giving me enough room. I'm on the curb, and the curb sends me sideways. Rest in peace. Fall back into 18th place. We're now on lap two. It's Nissan GTR goes wide, and I claim 17th. Later on, down the chicane, he goes wide. It's a Ferrari Enzo. It will overtake him. The Enzo is no match. I mean, I, I'm, no, I'm no match for the Enzo, I should say, in terms of speed. But he goes wide there, hits the Nissan GTR, drop it down into second, and the GTR just slides into me. And I end up finishing that race in 15th place as I'm able to keep him off at this chicane on the third lap, final lap. Run out of time because I'm just too damn slow. Now on the third and final race here, we're at Catalonia GP. Bobbing and weaving. That Porsche is gone. Oh man, I have rear ended by a yellow Camaro there. BAC Mono right there, as well as that black Skyline, or I should say GTR. My 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 bad. My fault. Porsche goes wide, BAC into the Porsche. I go around them all. Take the inside of this Viper. The BAC almost hits me, but I'm able to get away. I'm in sixth place. 
Viper just on my inside here, but I'm going to kind of squeeze across, force him to go around me. His, uh, his power is too much. Car off in the sand there, so I'm back in sixth place. Now I'm trying to keep this guy off as we enter, you know, lap two. TFF Neo, pretty quick guy right here with his Confederate flag GT40. Monster energy and confederacy. I'm going to be a little aggressive here, considering my car is lightweight. That was a bold move, but he's able to easily overtake me. And that is it for this video in this race. I finished this one in seventh place, so not a bad, not a bad finish considering I'm in a stock Formula E car and I'm going against pretty much supercars and hypercars. It was actually very fun to drive a, a stock Formula E car again. I was really wanting to do it in the leagues. The leagues never boot up for me. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment. Do you like the Formula E car? Do you like S-Class racing? And if you do, do you participate in the hoppers often? And I'll, uh, yeah, thank you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next race. Bye-bye.